Hello everyone. Today is Friday, May 5th, 2023 at um 12:57 a.m. in the morning. So, I found myself trying to go to bed at about midnight or try to fall asleep at about midnight and could not fall asleep. And my anxiety was very high, maybe feeling anxiety about later on today, you know. So, um, so I did some more research about that Jordan Neal guy, and I did a blog post on it. And sure enough, he got a lot of signs of um, a targeted individual. So, they had this guy that was perping and harassing him and trying to trigger and provoke him. And then um, a few other people, I mean, the, the guy who was perping and harassing him um, try to convince everybody else to be like, oh yeah, he's crazy and this now whatever, you know. So um, rest in peace, Jordan Neely. So the fake Darnell Williams perp kept on harassing me again on TikTok, breaking the terms of service and community guidelines. But fake TikTok keeps on saying that he's making no violation. They're in on it. And YouTube. So he made a fake, um, you know, a fake account and said, greedy fraud perp. You know, mocking my name Candy Grand Prix and falsely saying, greedy fraud perp. And then he tried to falsely accuse me of using Jordan Neely for donations and views. When I didn't even ask anything, I didn't even ask for anything. I'm sitting here trying to spread awareness that look at another person in society who I believe was a targeted individual. So... Um, people, a lot of people feel like what the white guy did was, um, you know, the military guy was, it was called like a, um, vigilante murder, you know, just like for us, you know, it's like the vigilante stalking. I thought it was pronounced vigilante or vigilante, the Spanish way, but they pronounce it vigilante. So I'll go with that. Just like in Pensacola, instead of Cervantes, they say Cervante Street. So I guess I'll just go with vigilante. So, um, so yeah, that got underneath my skin and bothered me. I didn't even ask for any money at all. So the fake Darnell Williams perp, you know, continuing to harass me and try to say, did you go look for jobs today or did you go job hunting today? And, um, you know, he just won't leave me alone and I'm exhausted and tired and, and, you know, and he's doing this cowardly from the internet. So, um, you, you know, it's, all this abuse and harassment is just fucking senseless. You know, the online perps have made false statements saying that I'm development. Well, they try to say that I'm developmentally delayed and intellectually challenged and mentally challenged and mentally slow and retarded and crazy. Yet I have a bachelor's degree. And they would have this mindset that I'm an educated fool. And the narcissistic control freak fake T.I. perps love to falsely say, you know, if you're young enough to be my child and you 
try to justify, you know, being abusive and controlling by trying to say she's, well, at the time, trying to say she's 37 years old and act like she's four. You know, but but me being the way I am, it stems from foster care abuse, you know. They would not allow me to grow up and be mature and force me to stay a child, a punished child with no rights. You know, and everything being controlled and then it's the fake foster family's fault why I may not act my age. And if I've been overly sheltered and in a cult and been abused and all that. But y'all don't act any better. I mean, y'all abusive, narcissistic perps calling me childish and falsely saying that I need to grow up. Or they don't make it like as if I have arrested development or I'm psychologically stunted or mentally stunted. And they think that they can use that as their vigilantism to um, boss, control, steal my rights, and take advantage. But I'm not a dummy like y'all think I am. They really think I'm mentally off, slow, and retarded. But in lack common sense. But I'm just, I'm sick of the abuse. And the, I mean, if you don't have any authority over me and think that you have the right to steal my freedom away from me. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I did not even ask for any money at all. You know, but he falsely accused me of using that for a donation, using the videos for donations and views. Well, why you don't say that about every TikToker and YouTuber who's reporting or saying stuff about this? So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yeah, I even saw people try to say that, um, that the Jordan person, that he was um, a menace to New York. And they're applauding that white boy is a fucking hero just because he was white and because he was in the Marines, a former Marine. So, you know... They're making it, I mean, and this is what they do to us targeting individuals, you know, like all the harassment and perping that I had to deal with being homeless on the streets in Pensacola, you know, and, and I even have, um, I would need to go and find it though. It was a few months ago, like it was last year, I think <clears throat> when, um, they had a perp that pulled a gun out on me. So, um, so it seems like they're ramping up the gang stalking really bad and, um, really going to try to kill us. So, I mean, as I said, when perps try to antagonize and provoke you and um, like when I was living in Los Angeles, I had to deal with perps. I didn't know it was gang stalking, but they would block my view and ignore me and refuse to move out my way on purpose to force me to miss my stop, my train stop or bus stop. You know, and that happened numerous times. Or the bus driver will pass you up. If you're on the bus, they will pass up, pass up the stop on purpose on just to make you have to walk further. And or they um, if you if you're waiting for the bus, they will pass you up on purpose, so that so that you have to be forced to wait all the way for the next bus. Um, 
if you got to wait two hours for another bus and then being late for whatever job interview, doctor's appointment, whatever, y'all know how it goes. So that they will say, well, you should have came earlier. But then if I go to the job interview site, they'll make it like, oh, you're trespassing and you came too early. So, or they're like, oh, you're loitering or trespassing or you came too early. But, I mean, it's just a big nasty mess. But in Pensacola, you know, they bullied me and ran me out of Pensacola. And, um, you know, and it's like, I, I mean, what happened to um, Jordan Neely, that could have been me. By police or an or a narcissistic abuser who delusionally believes that he's a cop or try to play cop. <clears throat> so um you know they have so many abusive narcissistic fake regular citizens in society who act like they delusionally believe that they're an unpaid cop and try to do the police trying to do the police officer's job. Or they want to try to, at worst, play God. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, so they want to try to play God, play police officer, play whatever they are not. So, <clears throat> I tried to go on the Social Security website, and it looks like, I thought that the website was always, like, 24-7, but the website is making it, like, as if they have, if they have limited hours. They say 5 a.m. to 1 a.m., but it was before 1 o'clock when I tried to get on there. Must be one at one a.m. Um, Eastern time or something, so I have to wait. <clears throat> um, I don't know if it would have done any good, but you, I, as I said, I try to change my address. Excuse me. If I try to change my address, um, on a so or a phone number on a social security. If I do it on the website or in person, they still want to try to hold on and keep using my old information <clears throat> and then make me have to suffer. So, um, yeah, I mean, but. I thought I was so sleepy and so tired and my mind was, um, you know, very scrambled. So, um, so excuse me if my mind is scrambled right now. I was, thought I was tired enough to go to fall asleep at like 12 o'clock, <clears throat> but my anxiety is extremely high. So, um, I don't know why everything I do or say, the perps falsely accuse me. And they falsely say, well, this is a ploy for her to get more money or to seek pity and attention or to make people feel sorry for her. And like, no, no, don't feel sorry for her. You know, trying to discourage any compassion for somebody's suffering. So if I just got paid and, you know, hopefully it <clears throat> paid the rent for, you know, another month to stay here, hopefully, you know, if they say, no, I can't stay here, then I'm going to let y'all know. But I'm going to have to leave so much stuff behind. 
And I don't know where I'll go. But I would have to leave so much behind. Um, and have to pack up and go. And everything will be in vain. So, um, so I mean, um, so it's like they try to criminalize me being an author and writing short stories and everything. I'm wondering if the perps hit me with directed energy weapons and caused this dent to be right here. Because this is what the New Agers call, I mean, this is, you know, the New Agers call this the third eye. You know, the, or the pineal gland. And so it looks like they must have hit me with directed energy weapons. Um you know, and put a dent in my pineal gland right here. <coughs> um, so, I read that Christians should not try to activate your pineal gland. Do not do it. Strong urge and caution to not activate your pineal gland. Don't do the new age fake yoga and meditation and chakra healing and all that. That's new age. It's another alternative. Like the new age movement is another alternative form of devil worship. But, you know, people think it's like light devil worship. Or they'll call it positive healing. It's not, it's not good. So, you know, chakras and energy healing and tarot card readers and Reiki healing. That is of the occult and... God doesn't accept it. So, um, so I mean, yeah, I'm sitting here looking at my, this area right here. It seemed like a boil or a cyst or something tried to come here. This spot right here. So it seemed like the abscess is trying to act up. I brushed and flossed my teeth. And I try to use the, um, I try to use the, some of the Himalayan pink salt to brush my teeth with too, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling extreme anxiety because I'm sitting here feeling like I don't know where I will be in the next 24 or 48 hours. That's eating me up with lots of high anxiety. So, um, and people are just so judgmental and ignorant. And, you know, with that Jordan guy, um, people are so judgmental and ignorant that, you know, everybody's praising and applauding the white guy while, you know, 
they're saying that this guy got everything he deserved. Does that sound familiar to you? Does that sound like what um Amar Arbery? Um so you know everybody was praising the father and son and saying that Ahmad Aubrey um got what he deserved. And that's what they'll do. They'll bring up past so-called criminal history in which they I mean like the Jordan guy, he probably was framed and set up 44 times. He probably was set up and framed 44 times. Not that he actually com possibly committed crimes 44 times. But I believe that the Jordan guy was severely sleep deprived. Like probably weeks, maybe even months. A long time. I don't know. I believe he was sleep, very sleep deprived. And then had no food or water or whatever. I heard he was hungry and thirsty and crying out for help and nobody really wanted to help him. But as I said on my blog, you know, all these people who didn't want to help him were five dollars or something while he was alive. But oh y'all bit fake ass bitches got thousands of dollars to donate to his GoFundMe now that he's dead and it's not even gonna go to him. It's gonna go to that auntie. So, and then he was killed the same way as his mom. He was targeted, impersonating Michael Jackson, and Michael Jackson was targeted. And you know what? Growing up, the biological brother, Sean, he never really dressed as Michael Jackson. But he was a diehard fan of Michael Jackson. And they used to bully, harass, and laugh at Sean. And Sean used to do the Michael Jackson like so well. And then I heard there was a Michael Jackson impersonator or something in New Orleans. Um, you know. But I'm wondering if Jordan... I don't even know if he could have been, you know, under MK Ultra and dissociated and stuff like that. You know, if they if people said that him doing that Michael Jackson, you know, was him healing from the trauma of what he eyewitnessed his mom get strangled to death by his psychopathic abusive fake stepdad. And I heard that his biological dad abandoned him so if y'all I mean they got some people with severe trauma out here and you know a pill is not going to solve or fix so I mean everybody's saying that you know he got what he deserved he was lazy and didn't want to work and um that he should have gotten a job or and, and it ain't that easy. If a person is labeled as quote unquote crazy or mental, they'll make it like as if you're a liability to the company and they won't even hire you to work. So um They even said that about Orlando Brown, that he's a liability to the acting industry or something like that. And when he was speaking so much truth about him, I mean, about the industry. And um, some people say that he's a controlled opposition. So... Um, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I feel bad about, you know, what happened to the Jordan guy. Because I thought I saw somewhere. Um, now somebody said, R.I.P. Jordan Neely. And I'm like, who is that? And then I didn't, I, I didn't, I thought I saw it somewhere on TikTok, but um, I couldn't find the video. Maybe somebody must have deleted the video or something. But, you know, everybody's running around trying to say that he was mentally unhinged that and um, or that he was mentally disturbed or that he was a, um, a menace to New York, a nuisance to society. And um, and then they make it like as if the protesters are nuts for defending him. That that the protesters are crazy for defending him. So, and it's like, <clears throat> but. As I say, I don't even know if all this is a psyop or a distraction or if it was the real deal. Because we all felt bad for George Floyd. And then come to find out, people said it was a psyop. And, um, you know, to justify more Black Lives Matter and all that, you know. And they said that George Floyd was a Freemason. And he had like, I don't know how many dog run fucking funerals. And I heard that the gold, he had like a Masonic ritualistic funeral. And, you know, I hear some people say that um, George Floyd is cloned or that he's still alive in the cloning center or somewhere. So, I don't know, though. But it's hard to find conspiracy truth nowadays. All people are going by is what they see or hear being reported by the mainstream news. <clears throat> so, um, excuse me. So, um, yeah, I heard that Jordan's dad abandoned him when he was very young like when he was a baby or something and then the stepdad being abusive and then he you know died the same way that his mom did or it might have been a legitimate blood sacrifice Because, you know, it was right around the time of... It was May 1st. So, yeah, that was about the time... April 30th, May 1st. That's about the time of the belt... The um, occultic um, Beltane Festival. Also, I, I forgot that was Jazz Fest um, weekend. You know, this past week and this coming week. My, you know, my hometown, New Orleans, Jazz Fest... So, I can't believe the older I get, the less I'm remembering stuff. So, I remember I have somewhat faint memory, not vivid memory, but somewhat faint memory of the fake foster mom's fake sister, Mickey. She took me to Jazz Fest when I was 11 years old in sixth grade, and that was the only time in my life I ever went to Jazz Fest. In 2018, the closest I ever went to Essence Fest was um, um, you know, that free event at the convention center, and um, I, I that traumatized me, and um, people will stamp people stampeded each other. Um, 
So I don't think I ever want to experience something like that ever again. And then what ha- look what happened with Travis Scott's situation. So, um, yeah. So I ate three times yesterday. What you perps going to do about it? So, I mean, I, I had the sausage biscuits. I'm almost out of them. You know, I had the sausage biscuits and orange juice. I'm almost like, um, I guess I have the last of the sausage biscuits and the orange, the last of the little drop of orange juice. Um, later on for breakfast. So, so like I had, you know, the sausage biscuits and orange juice for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had snack food. Well, I had three eggs and some peanut butter graham crackers, you know, peanut butter on top of graham crackers and applesauce. And then for dinner, I had more beans and rice and the fish patties and some ice cream. Comfort eating because of feeling depressed and anxiety because of fear of being back on the streets again, the way they've been threatening me. But, um, But yeah, I mean the fake Donnell Williams perp, he acts like a um fifth grade bully. Very he's very immature. But I mean you don't freaking destroy people somebody if you if you acknowledge that somebody's mentally disturbed. You don't go and harass and fuck with them and then, you know, have a whole entire community of people to to do this to you. So, um... And, and it's wrong that y'all do this to a disabled female. And then the fake T.I. perps, they want me back on the streets as well. Punished, wrongfully punished with being back on the streets as well because they're mad at me or don't like me. And then they'll try to justify it saying that it's, quote unquote, that new age fake karma or me reaping what I sow. You know, so they think I deserve to be punished with everything bad that happens to me. But as I said, they think when bad stuff happens to them, oh, it's godly persecution. It's them being pretending to make like they're godly people being persecuted. But, you know, I really think and, and then the fake Darnell Williams part, it seemed like he been coming at me with fake Offering me whatever a fake deal, a fake sellout deal almost every day. So I don't think he wants me to go out looking for jobs. He is trying to pester me about selling out and make it like as if I'm going I'm to keep on harassing you and, and fucking with you and destroying your life until you give in. I hope that one day he can leave back off and leave me alone like DJ and um Alex Dupree. So they'll give you a fake name and then say, well, oh, I never told you my name was DJ. Or, oh, I never told you my name was Donnell Williams. Or, I never told you my name was this. I never told you my name was that. <clears throat> so, um... 
Yeah, I think him trying to say, did you go, did you go look for jobs today? I think that was covertly trying to say, but did you think about becoming a perp today? So, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's, I'm sitting here trying to do the right thing. So, I mean, yesterday was the first time, you know, since last month. I mean, I was on a Greyhound bus riding here the last time I listened to any of my Christian songs. Or any music, really. Well, maybe I listen to a couple of songs, but you know, um, excuse me. So yesterday, I listened to, um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe about about ten songs maybe less than 10 songs yesterday. And I listened to the Bible. I mean, I have been praying and trying to get closer to God. And I I think I've been lukewarm lately. So I got to be, try to get closer to God. And um, God doesn't have an opinion. People have an opinion, but God doesn't have an opinion. Um, God is, you know, full of truth and righteousness. You know, he doesn't have to think or speculate something. Oh, people, people got to think and speculate. And the majority of the time, our judgments is wrong or incorrect. So when I posted in the community post, you know, uh, if people, you know, can please support, you know, me trying to make a living from my short stories. Um, so I, and so this abusive narcissistic perp made a fake perp comment that said, you know, he just typed in the website, you know, indeed.com, like as if I'm too stupid to know how to go apply for jobs. And I guess that was that narcissistic fake hint to um go get a real job. You don't tell me how to live my life. Being a corporate slave is not the real job. Entrepreneurship and doing for yourself is the real job. As I said, if it weren't for the so-called government holding people back, I mean, I could have been trying to, um, you know, if you didn't need a license to sell a freaking, you know, arts and crafts, soap, food, <clears throat> or whatever. And it's all about control. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, and I'm sitting here sitting back wondering how come it's considered a job for other people to um have a YouTube channel that's considered work and a job or earning money. But the online perps feel threatened at me. <clears throat> and um you know, they feel like me writing my short stories or ebooks is part of scamming people. They really don't want me to make a living at all. <clears throat> so, um, and it's like, as I said, you know, if you don't even know me, why you feel bent up out of shape and fake angry? You know, at my videos or any of my internet activity, that's none of your business and ain't got nothing to do with you. 
So, um, yeah, that perp came on my, um, on, in, in my videos and trying to say indeed.com. Like, as if I'm too stupid to know about that website and that I need to really go and get a quote unquote real job. So that, that was a perp that was a demonic, abusive, narcissistic perp that was sent. I blocked him too. So, um, so, you know, it's like they want to say stuff like candy must be stopped. Like, as if, if they see me um, progressing and doing better, they feel like they got to put a stop to it. It's rough trying to survive day to day with humans who are not God, who think that they got the authority to dictate that you don't deserve to live because of lies being said about you. <clears throat> So, um, so it's like, they think, I mean, they think I deserve to be punished. And, you know, as I said, if I am a criminal, lock me up. But y'all just making random false accusations. And then they'll be like, well, this is proof that candy scam. Other people do the same thing and it's not called scam or spam when they do it. Because you like them. Because they're popular, fake, and famous and part of the same fake Masonic Satanic Brotherhood as y'all. So, um, basically they want they they basically want me to not make a living or they don't want me to survive because I'm not part of their fake cult. But they act like they hate me and want me off this earth. And you can't even get, I can't even get any validation from the so-called TI community. They just, they also want to act like they want to erase my existence. Erase every bit of my existence. So, um, <clears throat> it's really scary. So, it doesn't, I don't know if I will have any food stamps or money for food stamps. Um, this month. So, if I do get to stay here another month, then, <clears throat> um, after a couple of weeks, I may have to ask for, you know, donations for money for food or whatever, but, um, <clears throat> they don't want me to earn a living by writing, cooking, or doing YouTube videos or anything else. And indeed.com, they don't, they don't really hire. And I think that, um... Wait a minute, hold up. So, well, I guess I'll say three jobs that I've gotten from Indeed was um, the fake Sky Zone job, the fake Avis job, and that fake job from um, 
earlier this year. But, um, <clears throat> I don't have a laptop with me to do work at home. But it's not quiet enough for work at home living here. Um... And I'm not tech savvy enough to do like technical support, but I don't even know if I can do chat. Um, but I have to wait around for them to hire me. See, next rep rejected my job application. I had a place to live in 2018 and I've tried to apply for teach English in China, a couple of them. And I didn't know that there were perps interviewing me. But then again, I heard that if they found out I was black, then they ghosted me. And then like mid interview. Because I heard that they don't want black people teaching English in China. And the black people who they do allow, I heard that they give them a real, real, real hard time. I tried to apply for a job teaching English in Spain. They rejected my application. I have a bachelor's degree and VIP kid rejected my application. I can have the fastest high speed internet and they will say that Cambly um, Cambly will say that the Cambly says that the um, that the internet connection is not fast enough. So, yeah, I'm really worried for this month. Um, with the leftover, I mean, because it seems like, you know, I need money for more than just food. I'm not asking for money at this moment right now, but I'm just, you know, feeling kind of scared of um not having enough money like sometime after the 15th maybe <clears throat> so i mean if i got to buy stuff like well i'm good on soap and i use the bentonite clay powder for toothpaste and I don't use deodorant and people don't be telling me I stink unless um, I've been homeless on the streets for over a week and can't get a bath. But day to day, people don't really be telling me, oh, you stink. So, um, But it'd be like abusive, narcissistic perps that just want to be cruel. You know, they just want to be cruel. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I mean. But I'm sitting here thinking like, well. Having to buy like paper towels, toilet paper. What if I needed another toothbrush, floss? Um, 
if I needed, you know, dishwashing liquid, if I needed foil, you know, um, to bake with. I'm just, you know, or if I needed Ziploc bags, if I need trash bags. You know, so, yeah, I'm just sitting here feeling scared, you know, of being like completely penny broke by the 15th and, you know, be financially struggling really bad. But as I said, you know, other people can make a living from writing and being an author and um you know and the fact that they're trying to block me from writing is their ch- fake childish revenge after me um you know writing my publishing my first ebook talking about my targeting experiences so they want to get childish revenge about, you know, nitpicking and pretending to fake look for a problem when there is none and writing false bad reviews on all my ebooks and then try to control how I write. Yet a lot of times they be illiterate and can't even spell. But they just, you know, gang stalkers pretending that they hate my guts. So, um, or maybe they really do hate my guts, but... It's like their false bad reviews. It's not about my writing being bad, but it's them not liking me as a person. So later on this month, I do not know if I will get a payment from, you know, from, from YouTube. Or I don't know if I have to wait three months or if I would get it every month. I don't know. But um, because of what happened last month, I was forced against my will to have to miss out on a whole week's worth of payments of possible payments for for videos. (coughs) So, um, So, I mean, I haven't calculated the percentage, but to stay here is, um, I'll say is, I don't, I don't know what, whether to say is about 60% of my income. I don't know the exact calculation, but it's definitely over 50% of my income. And then with me having to pay the, um, you know, the storage unit in Pensacola and pay for my, um, my phone. But if I could ever get my stuff out of the storage unit and I don't have the money for that, but if I could ever get my stuff out of the storage unit and um, they, I mean, if I could ever get my stuff out of the storage unit, <clears throat> um, you know, that can be like almost $125 extra that I could have. But the online perps, they falsely accused me of having just storing useless junk in my storage unit. When it's none of their business what I have in my storage unit. That they falsely accusing me of just wasting my money on useless junk in the storage unit. And, and they all they always they would try to have their calculations wrong and everything else. I mean, when I got the stimulus money in 2021. 
you know, they falsely accused me of living fancy and mismanaging my money and everything else. And, and they did the same with the tax refund check last year. You know, but, and it's like, I'm trying to, you know, it's like, I'm trying to speak the truth and say what's, what really happened. And they alter and over exaggerate things just to make me look really silly or make me look really bad. So if I spent, you know, a, a total of $110 total for two pairs of shoes, the online perps, they over exaggerate and they lie and say that, excuse me, that I spent $200 a piece and $400 total on shoes, which wasn't true um, in 2021. And they raised up the prices for Uber rides, hotels, and every food, everything. And I'm like, what's the point of the government giving us extra money for the stimulus just to turn around and temporarily raise all the prices? But they try to say that's to um, stimulate the economy or whatever. But, um, yeah, they, yeah, they raised the prices on the hotels and it was hard to get a hotel. And all the cheap winter prices was over. And the spring and summer was more expensive. Like, so if I would be at the Days Inn Hotel during the winter, it might be $89 or over the weekend. I mean, I mean I'm sorry, like during the weekday, but it would be like 175 over the weekend for that same room. Or same thing with quality in. Or um or what whatever else, but um but when somebody told me about the hopper app, um I was able to find places for sixty dollars a night. But even then, you know, <clears throat> I think that during that time, I think that they still would have had, you know, hotels full and higher prices. You know, it was difficult for everybody because everybody got stimulus check. Everybody got, well, not everybody, but a lot of people um got stimulus check or got paid. So, um, and then when I tried to rent a room and that, that lady had bed bugs and she was a fake Christian, she was a perp who lied and said she was a Christian and that ate up all my money too. So the same perps who try to talk about candy need to go out and get a job. They sabotaged my job and, um, you know, it's like they manipulate and twist everything to make the fake Masonic brother, gang stalking brotherhood cult. They defend their members and twist everything to make me look guilty and make them look like the righteous, innocent ones. So... Like they had this abusive narcissistic perp at Sky Zone. And I probably was 37 years old at the time. <clears throat> and he was 20. And just walk all over to me and started harassing and fucking with me and try to be extra bossy, controlling, abusive, and rude. <clears throat> and then they had this black guy. I mean, it seemed like Maybe two or three people when at um Sky Zone were nice and friendly, but almost everybody else, including the fake manager, they were all perps. And it seems like as if 
after they accomplished getting me wrongfully fired and banned, come to find out that Brian God does not work there no more. And then even the Social Security people know about it because <clears throat> when I called the hotline, there was an abusive narcissistic perp over the phone that lied and said that his name was Brian and refused to give me a last name. And he was perping and abusing and playing all kinds of psychological games over the phone. Knowing damn well his name wasn't Brian. And um, he refused to get a supervisor for me to tell on him or report him for, for what he did, you know. <clears throat> what time is it? It's one fifty-eight. So, so yeah, I mean, it's like the perps, as I say, I keep on saying this in so many videos that they don't want me to make a living. And so I guess they want me to go out and work a nine to five job or regular job so that they can have me to be perked and set up. They don't want me, um, you know, peacefully writing joyful cookbooks or uplifting short stories. So, like when other people do YouTube videos, you know, they can, they monetize, you know, document, like they, they may not talk about targeting, <clears throat> but they have people who have monetized YouTube videos documenting their daily life. And they will cook. They will cook sometimes, or eat, or you know, take a road trip to Dairy Queen, or go do like a grocery haul, or you know, they might talk about you know their dogs or whatever else. So if they got somebody who would do YouTube cooking videos and also show fashion and modeling or something. But as I said, you know, do y'all, I mean, it's so many people, they just trying to control me and restrict me because I heard that um, gang stalkers do not profit off of a targeted individual's independence and freedom. And our independence and freedom is a threat. And so, the, and so I don't, if the targeted individuals know that the gang stalkers make you homeless or sabotage your income, why do they look down on me like they think that they're better? And the fake TI perps and regular perps have convinced them to falsely accuse me, I mean, falsely assume that I'm just faking homelessness and faking being targeted for pity, sympathy, attention, and money and to scam people. And I have all my, I have so much footage that y'all keep falsely reporting and getting taken down, trying to remove all of my, as much evidence as possible. And, and that's another thing that's mentally fucking me up, messing me up really bad is, you know, when other professed targets, even who say that they're Christians, don't even believe you. And if you per going around perping people and I expose the truth about you, how are you going to say that? How are you going to lie and say that I'm causing division 
or sowing discord amongst the brethren or causing division amongst God's people. When you know you've been calling me mentally ill and crazy and doing perp shit behind closed doors and you just want to try to make your dirty hands look clean. So, you know, if they will lie and manipulate and turn other professed targets against me. If I didn't know anything about you, this person being a witch, I thought they were, I was deceived into thinking that this person was a legitimate targeted individual, you know, trying to get help. And then kind of find out she's a a perp and deceiving people and um, practicing witchcraft when I did not even know that. Because if I would have known that, then I would not, not have introduced her. But then you can know and willing and knowingly, you know, try to connect me to somebody who's a new ager. Even warn me in advance, this is a new ager. But you're talking about, oh, you try to send me to a whole witch. Well, I didn't know that that person was a witch. But y'all just wanted to lie, manipulate, and smear just to make me look bad because y'all have been exposed. Because if you a perp, you a witch too. Well, that person was perping me and so were you. Who the hell laughs at somebody suffering? Like, if you profess to be Christian and say you love the Lord and I haven't done you anything and you want me to punish myself because a perp sexually assaulted me and try to control where I should sleep at when I, I was downtown Pensacola and didn't really have many options. So... You know, you want me to, you narcissistically want me to punish myself because the perp, you know, offended me or assaulted me. So. And having nowhere else to go because they ran me off from 532 West Garden Street. And it's like, you telling me just like the purse, try to make like you didn't want me over there. So where the hell am I supposed to go? I didn't have many options. I didn't have nowhere to go. So then you brag and laugh that me suffering on the streets in 20 degree weather and homeless out in the, on, on, in the cold on the winter, you, you laugh and that's funny to you. And then when I exposed that you did that to me, then you laugh. I mean, then you get mad and smear campaign and call actually call me crazy in your video and smear campaign and use the Bible to cover up your dirty deeds. So if you defend and agree with perps because you're a fake Ti perp and you you want to call somebody fat and greedy and call people names and stuff and you jealous. And you won't even show your face. You never show your face. You're a copycat and try to, um, you know, use projection. You're fucking jealous. And, and pretending to be inspired at, by me at first. But it's like they tell so many lies. It's fucking ridiculous. And then... um. If, if you sneak behind my back and say that I have other people, you know, if you sneak behind my back and I haven't talked to you in nearly two years and you sneak behind my back and say that I have mental issues. And then it seems like you come ready to perp in your video and give like an almost hour long live live stream of a narcissistic bullying, harassing and threatening me ready to perp with the red and other professed targeted individuals they defend it and agree with her and and it's like <clears throat> and it's like um wow y'all don't even see that that she's actually perping the fuck out of me really bad
And then if you saying I have mental is issues and, you know, but then you also try to make offers to sell out or you try to sex traffic people or try to human traffic somebody or try to set me up for a sacrifice maybe so you can have a fake come up. And it's mind boggling how, how many people who belong to Satan but trying to pretend like they're more godly than you. Playing both sides. Jealous and jealous. Jealous as fuck. Like extremely jealous. And they don't want, just like the perps, they don't want you with anything. Trying to control what kind of car you should have or make like you shouldn't be driving at all. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's 2023 and events that happened two and three years ago is still like, I'm still bothered by it and it's, you know, still hurt by it and still having unhealed trauma from it and got no closure. And so many people in the so-called TI community is freaking um, narcissistic and control. I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of them narcissistic and controlling and trying to dictate your life and tell, you, you know, trying to dictate your life decisions and try to tell you what to do and treat you like you lack common sense. And then they start to act like a perp. So, um, and then like when you're going through a crisis, they do victim blaming and then falsely make it like as if you're full of drama and complain too much, excuse me, but you're quick to band together with an actual perp, excuse me, and join in on the bullying. So, um. I think I did mention that I brushed and flossed my teeth tonight uh, a couple of hours ago. I, um, so my arm was hurting almost all day, but now I'll say I feel about maybe 10 or 15% of the pain in my arm. But, um, I should be gone. I should be asleep. It's 2.10 in the morning. And, um, as I said, my anxiety had been really high. <clears throat> and it's like, what do you do when some other people who say that they're targeting individuals trying to insinuate that you're mentally ill, that you have a mental problem, you're slow, you're childish, you act like you don't lack common sense. But it's an abusive, narcissistic, perp thing to say, to falsely say, oh, she's 37 years old and act like she's four. Well, if you're perping people, you're not even, you're not more mature. Like you delusionally believe you are. Slutting around doesn't make you, you know, slutting around does not make you more mature. So, you know, it's so much selfishness, favoritism, and jealousy in the so-called targeted individual community. And then other professed targeted individuals will say the same thing, that um, people need to stop, you know, acting like, oh, well, I'm more targeted than you, or I'm more persecuted than you, so therefore I'm better than you. And But then they hate their targeting and feel more persecuted and feel like it's unbearable and like they can't take it. So then if you feel like you're suffering more than another target, then you get jealous. And then you start to try to perp and um try to sabotage and perp 
so that they can't, you know, accomplish anything. So, you know, but I feel like this. If a person feels like I'm perping them or triggering them, you know, I would never do that on purpose. Never do it intentionally. If you say that that I triggered you with a certain word or a phrase, I would make, I mean, as long as you polite about it, you know, I would make a con- conscious decision to not offend you again or to not do that to you again. But if you didn't tell me, how am I supposed to know that if, if I said this or said that triggered you? But if I tell a narcissistic control freak fake T.I. perp that, oh, if you make say this phrase, then, you know, it's triggering for me. Then they blow off the handles and say that I have them walking on eggshells. I mean, I'm traumatized and psychologically damaged and unhealed and, you know, from what the nar- abusive narcissistic control freak fake T.I. perps have done to me worse than the regular gang stalkers. I feel psychologically traumatized. And then you use my traumas as a weapon against me and then treat me like I'm extra crazy or don't have a right to feel traumatized or be traumatized or I don't have a right to talk about my traumas. No, if you falsely accuse me of, um, you know, seeking pity and sympathy and attention and scamming for money, you got the same mindset as the perks. You've been compromised, motherfucker, and you fake as hell. Because you've been, if you secretly think this about me for two years and you're just acting funny, at first, yeah, that's what they do. Fake T.I. perks, they try to love bomb you and trauma bond you and manipulate you, trying to get close to you, trying to pretend to be support for you, will even donate you money. And then afterwards, they secretly pull away and stop talking to you or start acting weird or, you know, um, and then now, now all of a sudden they want to try to tell you off about yourself and lie to people and say, you're the narcissist and then tell everybody, stay away from her. And then you actually going around telling people she's mental, she's schizophrenic. No, you a perp, you a perp. And then you want to narcissistically confront me. Yeah, I saw those videos you did about me. I saw what you said about me in those videos. But if you wouldn't have abused me unprovoked without cause, I'm like, what did I do for you to deserve for you to betray me? You're the one falsely accusing me of perping you. And I've had numerous fake TI perps do that. If they perping me, but falsely accuse me of perping them, hacking them, and doing this and that to them and gaslighting and using projection and having everything just very confusing. So yeah, how they approach you that they'll come to you, donate you money, pretend that they feel sorry for your suffering, claim that they're going through this too. Won't show me any pictures or videos of themselves. So it's like, I'm talking to you for two years and still don't even know what you look like. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. You can't even show me a dog on picture of yourself. And then you hardcore embrace the people who you know is gang stalking the fuck out of me. Who you know is my, you know, perps and sex traffickers or whatever. You would rather defend and agree with them and embrace their abuse towards me. And then treat me like, and you'd be young enough to be my child and think you got the authority to dictate that I don't have a right to be traumatized, feel traumatized, or even talk about my traumas 
or targeting and that all my suffering is just bullshit. You know that they make us homeless and destitute. And I mean, and then they'll falsely be like, well, oh, all Candy did was call me and say hello. So that's proof that she was perping me. Oh, oh, all you do is, I mean, Candy got paid just to just to say hello to me. She got compensated. Like, they're just making false accusations, just fucking lies. When it's actually them gathering intel on me. <clears throat> and that's why how they use my traumas against me and, and you know, quit talking to me and think I'm weird. And it's like, somebody must have beat you into submission and you caved in and they must have threatened you. Or they must have told you, I mean, what the hell would convince you to start acting like a perp? So in the beginning, you know, they will try to butter you up, love bomb you, trauma bomb you, manipulate you to have Stockholm syndrome and be addicted to the friendship. Or, you know, knowing that you have nobody else to talk to. And then they start to, I mean, and so they'll pretend to fake flatter you, butter you up, love bomb you, and pretend to be inspired by you. And then once they betray you and turn against you, now all of a sudden you're the vilest demon to ever walk the earth and everything else. And they successfully turn everybody against you. When I mention about fake TI perps, I'd be lucky if I get one thumbs up out of nearly 200 views. But people believe me if I talk about the regular perks. But, oh, there's some big issue. No, if you're a fake TI perp, you are a perp, not a targeted individual. You forfeited your right to be called a targeted individual once you sold out. So... You know, I never consciously perped anybody or got paid for it, but I've been falsely accused numerous times. And those were the same people who called me mentally ill, schizophrenic, crazy, say I need help. I need to be institutionalized. I need medication. And they viciously and strongly hate my guts. And I'm tired of being like lectured and told off by people over a decade younger than me, or even if you four years younger than me, you shouldn't be trying to um, overpower and try to handle me. And if you're a guy trying to one up a female or feel like you have to have the last assault or, or the last word or, <clears throat> or the upper hand, I'm, I need to let my feelings out before I go crazy. But so many people say targeted individuals need to stick together while handpicking who to eliminate. Hypocritically, if you say you're Christian and love the Lord, but you're the one who's throwing up the satanic hand signs, got one eye symbolism in your pictures, and then you claim to be chosen ones, empaths, and God's I mean, God's chosen elect and empath and um, part of the body of Christ. While you sitting there with one eye symbolism and throwing up satanic hand signs, having people confused. Are you part of the Masonic cult or, or what? Because like, how are you going to say that? You, and then you falsely accuse me of being a witch. If you got somebody trauma bonded with Stockholm Syndrome, that's you with the witchcraft. 